It was awesome. That Did was you love it? So much fun. Oh. <laughs> 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 These two are just, I don't even know. In suitcase, we packed Ryan up. He doesn't even know we've moved. <laughs> Went to the wrong building. Shoot, doesn't it figure? Oh my gosh. What did they say today is to be 101? Something like that. <laughs> two, three, four. Good morning, everybody. There's Ryan. Oh, sorry. Did you just take a quick big bite? No, no. It's on me. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So, it's currently 7.17. And I just ate AM. Uh-huh. Waffle. I like sausage. Uh, hash brown. Fruit Loops. Apple juice. Yogurt. Wow. Just to, a, just to balance breakfast. Breakfast of champions. It's not your two, 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 two. No, no, but it's, it's not. But, but it's, it's more of a variety. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to get rolling here in a second. Go back to the room, brush my teeth, get all ready, and then uh, we're going to hit the road here. Sounds good. Sounds good. Every day. All right, you guys, that's my building I went to every day for training. We're here. Are you excited? Uh, look at this. It's a pretty cool corporate campus, isn't it? We never really saw it during the day because we always got here in the middle of the night. <laughs> So I'm sure most of you know that I'm a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines. Well, Southwest Airlines employees' kids who are going to be seniors or juniors in high school were invited to apply for a Southwest summer camp to learn more about Southwest Airlines. So Ryan applied and he got in. So the summer camp takes place at the very same corporate campus that I went through training in. I lived here for four weeks last year. So, so it's really surreal to have Ryan here learning about Southwest. Okay, we're going to the wrong building. Shoot, doesn't it figure? Oh my gosh. And the campus is huge. Okay, a few minutes to get there. We were all ready to be on time. I had to cancel two separate Ubers. My phone was picking up my wrong location. And so I had to cancel two. And that took about 15 minutes, which is not good. All right, we're getting there. We're supposed to be over there. And we were over there. And it's hot out here. What did they say today is to be 101? Texas in the summer, dude. It's, <laughs> right? It's no joke. It is, no, it is for real. <laughs> Okay, this is the right building. Oh, there looks like there's some campers in there. Ryan <laughs> update for our day. So we left Ryan at the um, Southwest headquarters and then I went back to the hotel and we did a little bit of work and decided that our hotel, well if you guys watched yesterday's video, our hotel's not in the best area. So we decided it was time to move. We're staying one more night so we moved over to a better hotel in a much better area. It looks like a mini apartment as a matter of fact. There's Mike over there working. There are our two beds. And over here is a kitchen and this beautiful view of outside. Let me turn it on. I'll give you a little room tour. This is our bathroom, gorgeous, huge closet. I don't even think we put anything there. Two closet, two parts to the closet, yes. And then a, like practically a full kitchen, which is really nice. Microwave dishes, all that stuff. Hi Mikey, what are you working on? I'm working on a client presentation. You are? Yeah. Excellent. Are you waiting for me to go? All right, let's go. Mike's suitcase, Ryan's suitcase. We packed Ryan up. He doesn't even know we've moved. <laughs> oh, look at that. <gasps> <laughs> it's so cool because we're right next to the airport. You can see over there, if you guys look, you can see the um, control tower right there. Oops. And then every, I don't know, five minutes, no, less than five minutes, a Southwest Airlines uh, plane, Southwest Airlines plane takes off. And it is such a beautiful view. There's Dallas down there. I think we're going to go pick up Ryan in an Uber and take him to 
downtown Dallas so we can go see what's going on. There's like this trolley, I think. We can hop on, hop off. We're gonna try to get that. We got a few good restaurant recommendations. So I'm very much looking forward to exploring Dallas. I haven't been there since, oh my gosh, it's been such a long time. I was, um, last time I was there, I was working in the malls, Mike. I mean, that was like a long time ago. It was a while ago. So I'm looking forward to it. So come with us, explore Dallas. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> Ryan just texted that they're about to finish up. So we're gonna go grab him, bring him back, let him change, skedaddle. Hey guys, I'm not gonna, but you know what I did? I was hungry, so I went to this place right next door called Sweet Rice. Sweet Rice. Okay, if you're ever in Dallas or Texas at all, because <laughs> I think there, there's like five across Texas, but he was naming all these cities. There's like Allen, Frisco. I have no idea where they are. But anyway, um, the Sweet Rice, it's like a, it was an LAO, like Lao, and I suppose that's a type of Asian location or food or something. It was a Lao slash Thai restaurant. So good, so good. I had chicken satay, I should have shared it with you guys. Chicken satay, but I had Michael, did I tell you about this? The little side, there's a little side salad that came with it, and it was a cucumber onion in like this sweet vinegar dressing. Oh my gosh, I could have eaten a vat of it. It was so, so good. So we're gonna try to do Tex-Mex tonight and or barbecue, but um, I gotta tell you that Lao Thai food in Texas so, really good. <laughs> oh, that's Ryan right there. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, great. There's Ryan, guys. <laughs> he gets in the front. All right, here he is. Oh, hi, buddy. Yo, yo, yo. How are you doing? Oh, yes. Holy cow. Uh, how about us, huh? Chartered. We're yeah. styling. Why don't you sit right oh, here with gosh. us? This is Ryan. Ryan, what? Hello. Nice what was you. your name? I didn't get Anthony. 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 Anthony's are, are been driving us, and uh, we switched hotels, by the way, since we last saw you. Really? Yeah, we I'm did. Super glad about that. Okay. Oh man, that was awesome. That was did you love fun. it? So much fun. Oh Great my gosh. Off. Well, it good makes it fun and informational. Um, Excellent. But you know, just a great experience overall. Oh, I can't wait to download with you. Yeah. That was awesome. Did you meet anybody? Yeah, I met tons of people. Yeah, yeah, from all over? All over. And when you meet them, are yeah, you like... from Maryland. You did? Yeah, he's my boy, Gabe. Gabe? <laughs> Gabe. When you meet him, instead of, like, first you say, like, where are you from? And then, like, did your mom or dad work here? Like, yeah, is that what the next question is? That was a good connection. Yeah, I was like, oh, there's a flight attendant. Uh-huh. And a couple people whose parents were pilots, a couple people were technicians. Like, oh, that is all awesome. Stuff. All um, the good things. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So our hotel has this um, pool table in the lobby. Ryan's winding down with a little bit of pool. Oh, by the way, are there stakes to this? Did we decide? I don't or know. Is this Once like I'm the... one ball away from winning, I might background. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, that that might resonate with you if you watch it. <laughs> nice. We took our Uber over to Dealey Plaza. There's a little construction going on here. So Dealey, oh, you guys, I forgot to film during dinner, but we had the most ridiculously good Tex-Mex. Ryan, what'd you have? Quesadillas, so good. So good. So good. I had two enchiladas. I did cheese and a chicken enchilada. Mikey, what'd you have? Uh, I had a delicious taco. Brisket tacos, so good. Anyway, so now we're here at Dealey. So thank you, Mikuchina. And um, hi. West Village. Now we're here at Dealey Plaza. We thought we would lo totally like to see this. Wow, you guys. All right, so this is the deal. If you guys all know that you learned about the Kennedy assassination, so that is the book depository right there. And I believe that that's the mound right there. Was, I remember them talking about a mound. Oh, they're all standing right there. Oh, right where it happened. Oh. 
Ryan and Mike are walking down now to the area where President Kennedy was killed. So we're gonna stand down here and see. This is quite historic. There's behind those trees is the Texas Book Depository. And over here, we believe it's that X right on the ground. We have finished so whatever visiting. Right, we have finished visiting Dealey Plaza. Now we're going to head, at least attempt to head, up to that right there. That is called Reunion Tower, and it's I don't know 700 feet in the sky or something. I just read, and they have a restaurant up there. We're not going to eat up there because we already ate, obviously. But we'd like to try to go up there and look out and see the sunset and see the yeah. Dallas City Lights come up. So we're pretty excited about that. I'm not sure. I tried to check the website. I don't know. I think we can make it. We'll see. We've run into a bit of a quandary. So we're trying to get to that building, and we're so close. But there's like a bunch of train tracks and trees, and there's really, we're just not going there. <laughs> we just literally looked up and started walking toward it instead of realizing so like, how we need to get to that's it. That's cool. Let's go there. <laughs> and then uh, looked at zero maps. Kind of, right. kind of followed the North Star. And, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, well, let me pull up the map. Oh. All right, you guys, we made it to the top of this tower. This is the restaurant. I think we're going to probably just sit at the bar and have a cocktail and some dessert. Ooh. Or stand over there. Mike, can we go over there? So we can look out the window? Wow, this is pretty darn cool. I love it. Except that's right in the middle of my city, so let me go over here. There. Wow. You guys, we are having the best time oh up here. God. We've met our friend Eamon. He's our entertaining bartender. They just delivered us some cotton oh candy my God. from that machine over there where they make cotton candy. We've had craft cocktails and oh, that's <laughs> God. That was a little bit cheesecake. Uh, totally worth coming up here by. Really? Like, yeah, should we? Should yeah, so we, we went to great lengths to get here, and we got here. And we didn't even film much of that over there, but it is so beautiful and pretty. Good call, Mike Donnelly. Thank you. You rock, baby. When in Dallas, right? Who's going to eat the cotton candy? Ron, you know you know they only give this to, to bad kids, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got to hold <laughs> you must eat the cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> it did give us the giggle guys. I've had cotton candy in, I don't know, 20 years. Delicious. It was really good. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, fantastic. When the kids I'm were a big cotton candy. When the kids were young, I didn't want them to eat cotton candy because I knew it was bad for their teeth. So I used to tell them every time we would see ki other kids that had cotton candy, I'd say, "Oh my gosh, his parents are definitely upset with him." And just like as if their parents gave it to the other kids That's as a so punishment. Wrong. No, it's not wrong. I kept them from eating cotton candy because <laughs> the dentist bills were getting very hot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So we finished up at the rooftop bar and now we're back down on the streets and we're doing what the Dollies did. These two are just, <laughs> I don't even know. If you can see, you gotta look up, it's the coolest thing. Well, yeah, it's pretty cool, but <laughs> you know. When we were up there, we could see it, like the lights going on and off, but we didn't, we were inside, so we didn't know what was going on and now we can see. You can kind of tell that we don't belong in high profile places <laughs> like this. I've seen lots of people just get in their BMWs and drive off, but no, not us. We, we, we wait for our Uber and stretch like, on the railing like it's monkey bars. I could like everybody, uh, give me 10. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, very strong. Excellent. Anywho, we're gonna go back to the hotel and sleep. So what made me happy today was just exploring all of Southwest. Really, an amazing company. If you any, know anything about it, the culture there and the building and everyone I met today was amazing. Our dinner was amazing and so was that experience up there. That is what made me happy today. And now I'm gonna throw it to mom on what made her happy today. You guys, I had a great day for many, many reasons. One is just taking so much pride in Ryan. Like visiting Southwest and going to my old stomping grounds and like experiencing the joy that I experience with my company, which is amazing. But number two is we had no idea what we were gonna do after. Oh, right, we'll go to dinner, we'll visit a few things. We had an amazing night. It was yeah. so much fun, yeah. so much fun. I'm wicked full, but one after the other, we just kept like falling into these amazing experiences. So it was so too, super fun. Michael John? Uh, well, thank you for asking. Um, I loved our bartender. His name was Amen. 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 Great guy and um, and entertaining. The cotton candy. Yeah. We also had cocktails. <laughs> great cocktails. Good job, man. Thanks, Evan. Guys, stay tuned. Tomorrow I'm going back for another uh, session at Southwest and uh, we'll be exploring a little bit more. Anywho, stay tuned. Comment below, made you guys have a day, and we will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.